Welcome to Barcelona and the final rounds of the 2016 International GT Open. After a great weekend in Monza, Fabrizio Cristani and Thomas Biaggi are on the cusp of claiming the title, but Gustavo Jakuman and Fernando Moje could still wrestle it from their grasp. Let's see who is crowned our series winner for 2016. Bumper Grid assembled for the final event of the 2016 International GT Open Championship. It was Fabrizio Cristani who led away from pole position as he got the jump on Kevin Estra in the early stage of the race. Duncan Tappy looking to slot through into third ahead of Ewan Hankey. For Cristani and Biaggi, their task was to finish well clear of Gustavo Jakuman and Fernando Moje. But Jakuman was pushing hard in the early stages, but eventually he began to slip down the order passed by Ewan Hankey. So welcome return for the drive X Audi, but unfortunately that car hitting trouble in the hands of Esteban Gini midway through the race. Post pit stops, Mike Benham doggedly defended from Thomas Biaggi, but the Italian was taking no chances as he was driving towards the title. Some great scrapping behind from the Attempto Lamborghini and the Solaris Aston Martin. Meanwhile, Phil Keane was also on a charge trying to see if he could help Sean Bout up to second in the championship. Meanwhile, David Prell was engaged in a great scrap in the Kessel Racing Ferrari for GTM honours. Also flying as well was the Antonelli Motorsport Lamborghini. It was a victory for Kevin Estra and Peter Turton in the Attempto Racing Porsche, but in second position and the 2016 championship for Biaggi and Cristani, the light of the Orange One Team Lazarus Lamborghini squad. Stratton Turting celebrated in Park Ferme, it was all smiles from Biaggi and Cristani, with Balf and Keane completing the podium. Stephen Earl and David Prell taking GTM on it. I had a really good start. Um, I, I tried to follow the Lamborghini, but they were a bit quicker than me. But he did some small mistakes, and with the traffic, I could stay in contact. And then towards the end of my stint, the tires started to be really, really bad, so I, I lost a lot of grip. And uh, we decided to pit maybe one lap early than we planned. The pit stop went perfectly. We had no margin at all on the pit exit, so uh, that was nice. And then uh, Peter did the mega job to hold the first place. And it's really nice to come here with the Porsche and win. I'm really happy for the team because they had a hard year and uh, and it's really good for, for Attempto and for Porsche. And Peter, back to a big podium, must be happy. Yeah, I'm very happy. I mean, I had a really good teammate. Kevin does a fantastic job. He knows the car pretty well. Um, for me, it was the first time to work with this team and also the first time on this car. I'm back on the big cars. I'm very happy. I have to work a, bit, a little bit on myself uh, to can keep the speed of Kevin. Uh, but still, mega, we got the victory. So it was the final race would have been a very enjoyable international GT Open season. Off the line, John Barnes and Daniel Zampieri did battle into Turn 1. Zampieri and the Antonelli Lamborghini just getting the jump as behind the Tento Lamborghini, then tangled with the Aston Martin. Meanwhile, there was some great scrapping to be found throughout the field as the Teo Martin Motorsport BMWs were looking to finish the season on a high. David Perel was making a very strong impression on his debut in the championship. Francesco Cini was just trying a little bit too hard at the wheel of the Solaris Aston Martin. Jean-Luc Berbelique to battle Duncan Tappy in the latter stage of the race. Unfortunately that came to a head when the Frenchman lost control, torpedoed into the McLaren. Fortunately both drivers escaping more or less uninjured. And that prolonged safety car and when we did go racing, Gustavo Jakuman attempted to overhaul the Antonelli Lamborghini, ending in disaster for the BMW driver with just a couple of laps to go. So it was Antonelli and Zampieri who took the victory ahead of Migo Ramos and Peter Schottorst, with Cini and Fanin to complete the podium. It's a thrilling way to end what had been a great season of racing. Celebration time, the final podium of the year. I 
I'm really happy because we come back after two years, so coming and winning at the first day, so it's okay. Thanks to Marco, the, the car was okay, all the team worked well, and then yeah, we won. Marco, a team principal, but still a driver. <laughs> after maybe six years, seven years, uh, that uh, not the, did the race, I'm very happy. Thank uh, Daniel and my team. So a dramatic final weekend saw the title go in the way of Cristani and Biaggi on their debut campaign. Sean Balfe taking an excellent second place in the standings after that last race drama for Fernando Morje and Gustavo Jakman. Reigning champion Miguel Ramos eventually finishing fourth in the standings.